Gemini New Moon on June 3rd is inspiring, uplifting, and enthusiastic. It's versatile, witty, and dreamy. Gemini thrives on activity, new situations, and new people. Life and commerce will gather speed in the sign of the twins. You can hear the buzz of activity in the air. Spring is in full bloom. It's promoting life, growth, and abundance. Yay! In Gemini, you need to have a variety of experiences. Gemini teaches us that variety is the spice of life. You want to be curious. Be curious. It's good for you. It's time for you to wash away the winter doldrums. Go out, socialize, and have fun. There are new opportunities waiting for you to discover. All you need to do is be curious. Gemini is the twins. The twins represent the dual type of mind. So that you can see both sides of a question. You may find yourself experiencing your own Gemini duality. The Gemini New Moon is in challenging aspect, a powerful T-square with both Jupiter and Neptune. Neptune, the planet of illusion, delusion, deception, and confusion, is challenging both lights, the sun and the moon. Your perception of reality can change moment to moment. One minute you are madly in love with an idea or a person. The next it vanishes from your view and a cloud of smoke. Neptune is like looking through a kaleidoscope of beautiful illusions. You see what you want to see. The mirage is of your own making and desire. Neptune teaches you that there is no reality. There is only your perception of reality. Neptune represents levels of God consciousness that challenge the human mind to grasp and understand. Neptune rules the movie and music industry. He rules drugs and alcohol. Neptune rules creativity, spirituality, and fantasy. Neptune empowers you to go beyond the limitations of logic and reason. It's the power to create and manifest your dreams into reality. Neptune is to dream the impossible dream, the quest to follow your star. No matter how hopeless, no matter how far. The challenge is, Neptune does not show you how to make your dreams real. That is Saturn's domain. Where people run into trouble is when you believe that the fantasy is true. That is, seeing what you want to see instead of embracing the truth. Neptune casts spells and is famous for its big letdown. This is especially true in the area of love. I refer to this as love's illusion. The best strategy when navigating Neptune's deep waters is to stay awake. See people for who they are and not who you want them to be. This holds true in your investments. If something seems too good to be true, it is. Neptune challenges can bring out the liars, thieves, and betrayers. You know, the wolf in sheep's clothing. Creator is initiating you in these types of situations. This is to increase your discernment and self-mastery. For instance, will you walk away from yourself, your truth, to follow another? 
do you want the fantasy more than the truth? Are you overusing drugs and or alcohol to cope with life? Jupiter is in direct opposition to the new moon. Jupiter will be in Sagittarius November 8, 2018 through December 2, 2019. Jupiter is in his ruling sign, Sagittarius. On the positive, Jupiter can show you new ways for increasing your prosperity. He encourages you to be optimistic, willing to take a chance on anything. Jupiter is the love of freedom and travel. Jupiter is about the expansion of your consciousness the desire to learn, a need for real and useful knowledge about your world, to move beyond old prejudices and beliefs that don't serve you, where it's more important to know rather than just believe something because you always have believed it. This is where your consciousness has grown so much you are a woke soul. At the same time, Jupiter is in a three-passage series of a waning square aspect to Neptune from January through September 2019. It goes exact on June 16th. When planets are exact, that is where the energy is most intense and most powerful. And this aspect can be so difficult to navigate through. What to watch out for is there can be an overload of information coming at you. Jupiter can rule excess. So there can be so much information coming at you from the news media and the internet and other people. And under such a combination as this Jupiter-Neptune, one must be careful not to believe anything you read or hear, for Jupiter tends to exaggerate, especially in Sagittarius, and Neptune tends to distract and veer far away from the facts, knowledge, or truth. When one believes what is written or spoken, there is a risk of being misled. A setup for major disappointment when things don't go the way you were led to expect. It's a time of disillusionment, false hopes and futile wishes, wishful thinking, over-the-top irrational exuberance, where we believe something because we want it to be true. You can find yourself having inspirational conversations, but they lead to no action. This is a dreamy new moon filled with potentials and promises. Don't go by promises. Use behavior as your guide. It's never what people promise. It's always what we do. It's never the talk. It's always the walk. You want to walk your talk. Make sure to be clear in your communication with other people. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Use the power of your words to heal. Be honest and sincere. Work on increasing your communication skills. Listen more and talk less. Make the person feel heard. It shows you care. People will forget what you've said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Now there is a lot of good news here in June, starting with this Gemini New Moon. Mars, the planet of action, energy, and desire, is in Cancer, and he is in harmonious energy flow with Neptune. 
And this is the way out from the Neptune-Jupiter T-square of confusion. Mars will be joined by Mercury and the Moon entering Cancer on June 4th. Yay! Use Mars, Mercury, and the Moon in Cancer as your sword of truth to cut through the cords of illusion. This energy will bring you clarity. You are highly encouraged to use your emotional intelligence. Trust your instincts. Trust your gut. Cancer rules the gut. It rules digestion. And remember, the first hit you get on someone or something in the first 10 seconds is the truth. Your eyes, ears, and brain may deceive you in this energy. That's the test for all of us. But your instincts and your intuitive insight will never fail you, no matter what Neptune or the planets are doing. Now there's more good news. Saturn wants to help you make your dreams real. Saturn wants to help you in this nebulae of Neptunian energy. As Neptune washes over us and washes away the markers that we've used to guide our life or guide where we're going, Saturn is giving you the signpost. He's going to show you this is your next step. This is the road you want to be on. This is the project you want to be committed to. This is the relationship that's great for you. And he is sextile Neptune. And this energy goes exact on June 18th. And it will be around for most of the year of 2019. And he's strong in the Gemini new moon. And he will be strong in the Sagittarius full moon on June 17th. With Saturn, we want to practice self-discipline, determination, and dedication to our endeavors and goals. You can make your dreams come true through patience and perseverance. Saturn will build with you. Neptune gives you the dream. Jupiter gives you the inspiration. Saturn gives you the roadmap. And what you build with Saturn together will last a lifetime. He's not about, you know, get rich quick schemes or here today, gone tomorrow. Saturn loves to build. And he loves strong foundations. So what he builds and commits to, he wants to see last. There's more good news. The Gemini new moon also has a gorgeous air trine, positive energy flow, to the asteroid Pallas Athena. She is the goddess of wisdom, truth, and strategy. Call to her and ask her for guidance in your life and vocation. Wherever you need more truth and understanding, Pallas Athena will show you the way. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, and abundance, enters Gemini on June 8th, where she will be flirty and fun. Venus wants you to stop and smell the roses. Be in the moment. Find pleasure from the beauty in nature. Be light with others and curious. Venus helps you to rise above the waves of uncertainty, these waves of uncertainty, anxiety, and exhaustion that may wash over you from time to time. The Gemini New Moon message is to focus on what gives your life meaning. And this magical moon holds new ways for you to manifest abundance. Be on the lookout for new, prosperous projects and ideas. Ask your higher self to show you the way. Dream big. This is a wonderful month and beginning. 
to focus on your dreams and to dream big. What would you dream, dare to dream if you knew you could not fail? You may notice in June that you are more clairvoyant, that your psychic abilities are increasing, becoming stronger. This is the positive effect of the higher energies of Neptune. Pay attention to your hunches and dreams. They can be prophetic. You could be a new emerging prophet. On a collective level, God wants us to bring in the golden age. We do this through our intention and visualization, focusing on what you want and avoiding the negative news media and the doomsday websites. You create your reality by what you focus on. Focus on beauty and prosperity. It's time to dream big and be patient with your process. Everything unfolds for you in your own divine timing. This is an excellent new moon to visualize world peace and prosperity. The new age dawning Use Saturn to make your dreams come true. Use Mars, Mercury, and the Moon in Cancer for clarity, and especially as they cross over the North Node in Cancer, which is about your personal foundation, how you feed yourself emotionally, how you nourish yourself, how you strengthen yourself emotionally, spiritually, physically. love you more than the need for a relationship. Increase your communication mastery by listening deeply to what is being said and what is not being said. Listen to your intuition. Your instincts will never fail you. The logical mind can be deceived. The eyes and ears can be fooled. Yet, your inner being cannot. Practice mindfulness, meditation, and exercise. This will help to ground you so that you are effective and efficient. The goal is to be healthy, happy, and abundant. To live your life from your authentic self that is, from the inside out. Nourish your inner world. Be kind to yourself. Listen to your own wants and needs. Listen to your soul. What does your heart want? Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you smile. You're here to live a joyful life. Less is more. Work less, meditate more. Work less and play more. Work less and love you more. Do you believe in magic? If you consider magic to be defined by that which appears to have no reason or cause, there is indeed magic all around you. What a lovely thought. Magic is all around you. Now, choose to see it. Use this new moon to set your intention for what you want to create in this next 30-day cycle. I always like to wait 24 to 48 hours after the actual new moon. That gives the new moon an opportunity to crest so that it begins to gain in light and we can see it. And that gives you more power for what your intention is so that it too 
gains in strength from this new moon to the next moon or from this new moon to the full moon in Sagittarius on June 17th. And many people have been asking me to do a video on how I do my own new moon or full moon ritual. So I'd like to create that for you. Until then, eat well, meditate, dream, play, and laugh a lot.